Good morning. Hey guys, so this will probably be my last meal for this breakfast because I am very full from yesterday's buffet. So I've got scrambled eggs, let's give you a go. Very nice and creamy. Now I don't know what this is called, it's, it seems like kidney beans, so let's give them a go. Very nice. Okay, I've also got myself a croissant and a chocolate croissant with some orange juice. So yeah. I've got a towel, so what we're gonna do is go to the pool, spend half an hour there, and then after that, we've got something special. Now. Okay guys, the plan now is to go to a beach called Saluna Beach that is provided by the hotel for free, it's a private beach. Um, so yeah, me and my dad are ready now and we're about to leave. Uh, it's a three o'clock bus, so the hotel will take us to the beach. Um, and then, yeah, I don't know what we'll do after that, but we'll see. Let's go. Okay guys, so what's happened is that the bus is supposed to come at 3.30, but we thought it was three o'clock. So we got ready half an hour early. So we're just gonna have to wait at reception uh, till the bus actually comes. But look at the weather outside. It's nice and sunny. The sun is blazing down. And this this bus is going to JBR Beach. The one we're going to is Saluna Beach, which is, I think, I think a different beach. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna wait it out. Guys, everywhere you look in Dubai, there's tons of buildings. Guys, this is what the hotel reception looks like. Okay, look at this guys. The time in Dubai is five past three time in new york is i think that's two hours behind is it oh no i'm really getting completely wrong the time there is five hours no three hours ahead uh the time wait what's this if that's new york then this is i think that says london the time in london is okay i don't think that says london oh, it does say london the time in london is six okay i think that's wrong yeah there's no way that's right because London is two hours behind and then Sydney is eight. Hey guys, it was a 20 minute bus journey. We're finally here. Uh, it's very hot, very sunny, and you can see the view behind. Look at that. Look at that. This is what it looks like from the inside. Guys, look at this view. This is what the beach club is called Saluna Beach Club. Wow. Okay guys, so we've got our towels right here, uh, the pool's right there, I'm thinking of going for a swim, I think my dad will do the same too, so let's go, let's go find the seat, and then let's go for a swim, come on. Come on. Guys, 
Guys, whenever you come to Dubai, I would recommend booking a hotel that has beach club access to it, private beach club access, because this is great. We got this for free. Normally they charge £25, but uh, this one came with our hotel, which is great. So I would say book a, book a hotel that has a beach club with it. And look at the view there. That was, we were there yesterday. That's the Atlantis, I think. And then, yeah, and then over there you've got the two hotels. I'm so happy I brought slippers with me. I'm not trying to get my shoes dirty. So what we're going to do now is before heading into the sand, we're going to put our slippers on, my sliders. So let's get changed. I'm going to take my socks off too, it's boiling. Let my feet breathe a bit. Okay, that's all done. And then I also need to use the toilet. Okay, let's put the slippers on. Around. so first stop you have this it's like a mini swimming pool um, it's about half my height in depth and yeah so this is what it starts off with a uh, mini swimming pool and then let me walk around and show you okay guys we've just finished up at the beach now we're in the bus on our way back to the hotel we just got on the bus uh, the lady she had to stop the bus for us the bus was on its way um, but yeah now we're going back to the hotel after that we're gonna get changed Okay guys, my shorts have dried up and what we're doing now is heading to the Dubai Mall. Uh, Dubai Mall was on the top of my list when I uh, was planning on visiting Dubai. So what we're going to do is spend three or four hours in Dubai Mall, find something to eat there as well. Let's go. There. Let's go. Guys, we've run into a slight problem. So the mobile data my dad was using has run out and obviously we need that for navigation to go to the Dubai Mall so what we're gonna do now is park the car once again and then top up and then go guys look at this car park I don't know why I'm glorifying a car park but I'm just so excited to be in Dubai Mall guys there's so many cars here we don't know where, where to go we don't know where the entrance to the mall is I think it's right there. Yeah, I think it's there. Let's go. Guys, the, apparently the parking is only free till the 1st of July. After that, you're going to have to pay. So, to all the people who are planning on coming, do know that you are going to have to pay for parking. Guys, it looks like Dubai Mall has all the brands you can think of and more. Just look at it. Okay, what we're going to do is head up to the food court first because we're starving. We haven't eaten for quite a few hours now, so let's go to the food court. Okay guys, we're finally here at the food court. So what we're gonna do is look at the options and then from the options we'll pick one place to eat from and yeah, I'll give you a taste test, let's go. They even have a Wendy's. The line outside I'll bake. Wow. After doing tons of research, we have decided to eat from this. It's called Texas chicken and I'm thinking of getting that Mexican meal right there. Okay guys, we're eating after five or six hours. Let's give you a taste test. Let's try the chips first. Very nice and crunchy. I really like them. Next we've got a chicken piece. The skin.
then the burger if I'm honest it's much smaller than I thought it would be um, but it, it does look nice let me show you the inside it's full of sauces which is always great to see it's got the lettuce it's got the cheese let's give you a taste test I'm gonna break it from the middle put the jalapeno I'm getting a takeaway as well. Very good. Okay, you guys, so I've went ahead and got myself a dessert too. I've got myself some ice cream from Baskin Robbins. Uh, I've got a cookie dough and I forgot the second one, but I've also got Nutella on top of it, so let me give you a taste test. So, this is the first one. Let's try it. Very nice. Second one. Look at the size of the screen. This must be a thousand inches, probably even more than a thousand inches. Wow. Just look down there is the aquarium and look how many people there are over there. And look, those are the fishes. Look at this. Congrats to India, they won the World Cup final and I just saw this colourful store so I thought I'd go in and show you guys what this is Okay, these look like chocolates very colourful colourful Look at this Wow Guys, we just missed the fountain show about 30 seconds. I think it happens once every hour. But look at the view of Burj Khalifa. This is where the water show takes place once every hour. And we've got the Burj Khalifa there. Wow. You've got quite a few famous restaurants here too, like you've got CZ and Barak, the guy from TikTok and Instagram. I'm sure you must have seen him online. Um, and then, look, all the buildings, most of them say Imar on it for some reason. I think, I think Imar are a property development company that have made these buildings. And then what they do is just put their name on top. But yeah, I'm going to do my research. Like you've got the I love Dubai sign and then Got the sparkling Burj Khalifa. Everywhere you look, it says Imar. Look at this. Imar, 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 everywhere. Imar, Imar. That, that's probably made by Imar too. And then Imar there, Imar there. Uh, and then Dubai, Mumbai, Imar. And all these buildings as, as well. This is an even better view. Look at this, man. This is the tallest building in the world. Guys, I was reading this online somewhere that it took 40,000 tons of steel to make the Burj Khalifa along with 30,000 tons of concrete. I don't know if that's the exact figure, but do search it up online. It is quite interesting, so yeah. Okay guys, we've come to a mall that's near the Burj Khalifa and this is what, the gold section? So we're just gonna walk around, see what the gold prices are. 
And yeah, what we're waiting for is the 11 o'clock fountain show. So we're going to wait for half an hour near the Burj Khalifa and then we'll head to the Burj Khalifa again outside to view the fountain show. So yeah, let's go. I was just at Tim Hortons and look at this 1.5 dirhams for these I don't know what they are but 1.5 dirhams sounds like a very good price that's 25p, 30p I think I'll get 6 of those, yeah okay guys, so I was just at Tim Hortons and when I gave him this order he got shocked, he was like You're only ordering this, what's going on? This actually costs 25p. I'm so surprised. So yeah, let's give you a taste test. He gave it for free. It tastes like a chocolate muffin. Okay guys, the time right now is currently 11.30. We've seen the fountain show. We've seen the Burj Khalifa. We've done a tour of the mall. I think it's time we head back now and the plan when we get back is to go to the gym so yeah let's go guys this is dubai for you on my left is a lamborghini on my left is a gmc driving by and then behind that is a g-wagon that is dubai for you and then a land cruiser i think that was a lexus actually but yeah man i'm in love with this country okay guys so what we're doing now is heading to the carrefour right there it's two minutes away from our hotel we need to get water and I might get a few snacks but once we get the snacks and head back to our hotel first of all look at this Ferrari yeah so nice, huh? yeah very nice one yeah so once we head back to our hotel we're gonna go to the gym and yeah I'll give you a taste test of the snacks I buy okay so the curry food is right here what my dad was saying that we need to get uh, what my dad was saying that we need to get a bit of bottled water firstly and then after that we'll get a few snacks the price, the prices are 50-50. Some products are cheap, some products are very expensive. Like, look at this milk. I don't know why milk is so expensive. 13 dirhams is what, divided by four? That's three pounds for that small milk. Yeah, that's a bit expensive, isn't it? Okay, so this is the chocolate section and the what, chocolate I will be trying is Snickers. Ooh is snickers it's a flavor you don't get in the uk that's why i'm trying it extra nuts and caramel but i will try this in tomorrow's video so make sure you watch do watch tomorrow's video and do like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video guys look at that the cat and the kitten look at that 